Good evening, I'm Brianna Willis. Here's what's making headlines from across the county. The attorneys representing the adoptive parents of Orrin and Orson West are discussing the case for the first time, claiming the district attorney's office isn't playing fair. Following last Wednesday, Wednesday's district attorney's press conference, the defense attorneys for Trezell and Jacqueline West believe the comments made by the district attorney make it hard for the jury to be impartial and are exploring a change of venue for this case. We don't want to use the potential motion for change of venue as a sword and a shield. We want to be able to um, articulate that, that motion if, if necessary and, and have it granted again, if necessary, not by our own doing. So um, I think that regardless if it were or were not to be granted, we would still, we would still be abiding by um, the silence until the end of trial. And while a gag order has been requested by the district attorney's office, both defense attorneys say they plan to join in on the gag order to ensure that their jury pool isn't tainted. Now to a developing story out of Southwest Bakersfield, a service worker for Cal Water making a dr grim discovery this afternoon. According to Bakersfield Fire, they responded to the area of Demert Avenue near Newstein Road. Fire crews were sent for reports of a possible body inside of a well. Officials saying upon arrival they did confirm there was a body inside. Fire officials explaining that a Cal Water employee was doing a service inspection on the well and during the inspection, the worker ran a camera down at about the 200-foot level is when the body was found. Bakersfield Fire officials saying they don't know how the person got down there. I do know that last week, uh, Tuesday or Wednesday of last week, the Cal Water did report a break into this facility. Uh, that's the reason that the, the lock had been cut and that's the reason they were doing the inspection prior to putting the, the well back into service. Um, so that's what the company's out here doing today and that's when they discovered the body. The identity of the person found has not yet been released and the investigation is ongoing. Brandon. And we're back to some nicer weather here in Kern County. A kind of a chilly weekend for us. We're still below average today, but we're getting closer. We're close to 70 on an average day this time of year. 65 today is not too bad. We'll be even closer to 74 tomorrow. We continue to warm up. 68, you're high in Bakersfield. Would not be surprised if we saw some 70 degree readings in the valley tomorrow. Mountain communities into the 50s, desert into the 60s here. Same story for Wednesday, a little bit cooler Thursday. Tiny chance for some rain there too, but I'm not all that optimistic. That's a good rain for us. And then we get back into the 70s into the weekend. Don't forget to turn those clocks ahead on Saturday night. Seven day forecast for our mountain communities. Kind of a similar story. The one change though, some stronger winds with that weak system rolling in Wednesday into Thursday. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest update anytime, be sure to head to our website, turn to 23.com.